Where on earth or in space is this otherworldly monument? Sometimes, just sometimes, architecture makes you want to burst out into song. Well, I'm not going to do that because the building behind me does all the singing you'll ever want. It's the new Guangzhou Opera House by Zaha Hadid, and it's one of the most remarkable buildings, not just in China, but in the whole world. This extraordinary new building has been a very big event in China. Zaha Hadid, its British architect, had hoped to have built an opera house like this years ago in Cardiff Bay in Wales. An unholy chorus of dim local politics and cultural philistinism wrecked her plans. We started to design an opera house in Cardiff Bay, and the opera house has ended up here in... In Guangzhou, yes. Come on, tell me, how does it feel to do it? No, it's great. I mean, it's not the same project, but uh, no, it's, it's very nice. Very nice? It's a bit more than that. It's a truly radical design that shapes and defines a new stretch of city on the waterfront in Guangzhou. It boasts inspiring and unexpected public spaces. Being an opera house, the true measure of its success has to be the quality of the auditorium. Even Zaha seems dazzled by the result. During intervals, the action is back in the gravity-defying foyers. This is a very busy night at the Opera House, this grand opening. So of course it's hugely theatrical, there's a lot of noise, but that's exactly what it's meant to be. It's an Opera House, it's meant to have that great sense of drama. But even when the building's quiet and when the people have gone, the building, even when empty, has this quality of being restlessly alive. The Opera House is a virtuoso performance. It takes the form of a pair of granite and glass-clad buildings that rest like giant pebbles on the shore of the Pearl River. They act as the cultural anchor of a massive development of new financial towers. The structural ebb and flow of this charismatic Opera House are the end result not of a sudden rush in creativity, but of a long artistic adventure. When I was here in 81, when I first came to China, it was very I mean, it was very severe and dual, everything. I mean, it was in, you know, in the Mao suit. Uh, but when I was here, even when the project started uh, five, six years ago, there was nothing here. This end, there was nothing. It was empty. Although its appeal will be global, the Opera House was designed very much for local conditions and local people. Chinese go to opera a lot. I mean, Chinese opera. And, but their behavior in opera is very different than, than the West or other places. They, they chit-chat and eat things and... Um, it's, not, it's not because it's respectful, it's just that's how they are. Guangzhou's gain is Cardiff's loss. Zaha Hadid is a trailblazer, but the trail she blazes so very brightly has still to light up British towns and cities. My ambition is still to, still to build in the UK, you know that. Is this a great building? Well, yes, I think it is. What's really special, I think, is that here is a marriage of high intellectual, brilliant, avant-garde architecture and true populism. Next year, the Opera House is not just going to have high opera and traditional Chinese opera, it's going to have Cats and Mamma Mia too. What a wonderful meeting that is. A grand avant-garde architecture opera house for everyone.